first open the part this is the example part aluminum block with the a pocket of the shape go to application click on manufacturing click OK expand MCS mill you can find workpiece you can create geometry here and then call it in the operation or you can just right click this workpiece and edit specify the part this is the part click OK specify the blank click on bounding block and automatically calculates the block size click OK now go to create operation click on uh, uh, planar mill choose that workpiece and mill rough click OK now select the we need to select the boundary select the curve edge put it as a tangent selection filter as tangent curves click on this edge and it will uh, complete the chain and it, we need to specify where the material is after cutting so uh, the material will be outside the boundary so click OK then we need to specify the uh, stock in which it will be cutting so custom boundary click on stock I'm going to keep it as 0 0.1 mm click OK and next I'm going to specify as specify the floor this is the floor if you want to keep any stock here you can use that also next I'm going to define a tool create new tool click OK come to use uh, 20 mm diameter tool click OK next we have to define the path settings generally we use uh, follow periphery and we keep a uh, step over as 50 percentage that means once uh, the cutter finishes one pass it then offsets it 50 percentage of the diameter that is in this case 20 mm uh, 50 percentage of 20 mm is 10 mm so one it moves one uh, path it offsets 10 mm and finish again uh, cuts the path here we can set uh, depth of cut as 0.25 and I'm going to give as constant click OK then finally generate toolpath so a toolpath is generated we can verify it now so floor has been uh, machined and on the walls it has left some stock which we already mentioned in uh, while creating the program